What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Should we talk about a few different horror topics in this video here today? Some rumors, updates. Uh, so this is mostly going to be about Insidious, the feature of the Insidious franchise, as well as going over Welcome to Dairy, and also rounding it out with a rumor regarding Friday the 13th movies and Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Now, according to the V-Scooper, who tweeted this days before the Mandy Moore Insidious 6 film became public knowledge, Insidious The Red Door will apparently mark the beginning of a big story ahead with potential to produce yearly sequels according to Blumhouse's plans. However, all of this, of course, will depend on the success of the upcoming movie, but we can already be expecting a sixth one. Now, they tweeted this prior to me discovering what I discovered and shared with you guys a few days ago. Now, as mentioned in my last video, Insidious 6 is scheduled to shoot this August in Canada, but there's been no official announcement about it. However, given that casting calls are posted, it would appear that an announcement will come sooner rather than later. That's just my safe assumption right now. Mandy Moore and Kamal Ninjani will star as parents who travel into the further after their daughter Zoe dies. Now, if this rumor about the series plans are true, it only backs up my thoughts that I made in my last video that in cities is going to become what the conjuring has successfully became which is a universe filled with endless stories that tie into our original set of movies with the lamberts because the v scooper again is stating that this will mark the beginning of a big story ahead with the potential to produce yearly sequels according to blumhouse's plans the, how this big story is going to unfold i do not know what this big story could be i also do not know i'm very curious to find out what their plans are though so we'll see how this all ties up and if it's able to even happen, if five is a success or not, because, again, they already have live casting calls for the sixth movie. And Mandy Moore is already attached to starring and it's set to shoot in Canada later this year. Now, jumping into Welcome to Dairy, Welcome to Dairy, which, you know, is the prequel to Andy Muschietti's first two it films from 2017 and 2019 is currently filming in Canada as well. And Muschietti let us know that we'll be meeting another member of the Bowers family during this series a couple weeks back. We know it's going to be debuting on Max next year, formerly named HBO Max. And we know that the show is expected to dive into the origins of Pennywise. Bill Skarsgård, who we know starred as Pennywise in Andy Muschietti's film adaptations, had stated that he is still not currently involved with the show at one point, but is expected to be back, according to Scooper Jeff Snyder. Now... These images on screen are some of the dairy spots in Canada being used for the show. So we have the police station, we have a restaurant, we have a dairy grill, and we have dairy press. Now, if any of these locations end up being the most important to the story, I'd assume it would be the police station where, we'll get, where we will get to know Clint Bowers, who is chief of police. A few days ago or a week or two ago, I did a video going over some characters you can expect to meet in the upcoming show. Uh, you can check that out. Diving into this last thing I wanted to touch on from the v scooper as well some more rumors this is about friday the 13th and nightmare on elm street now the v scooper shared some rumors again about friday the 13th movies and nightmare on elm street if blumhouse secures the rights i guess there's a because we know as as of now there's a rumored bidding war of sorts happening for the rights to nightmare on elm street but if blumhouse were to secure the rights they have plans to do yearly remakes and sequels of not only nightmare on elm street but friday the 13th as well now the last we heard was that the original director for friday the 13th sean cunningham was working with jeff locker and jeremy wise to get a reboot off the ground for jason they also mentioned that if we couldn't get a proper film with jason that a plan b was set to avoid any legal issues that could arise now blumhouse dropping yearly entries of nightmare on elm street sounds like a dream come true but we also know that chances are if the sequels are happening that fast, certain circumstances could lead to us getting trashed left and right. My point being, as much as we have missed getting Freddy and Jason movies, what we don't need is for us to end up in another rut like many people would argue they were in towards the tail end of their respective series. Uh, and again, there's nothing locked in as far as Blumhouse having any rights as far as I know, to Nightmare on Elm Street or even Jason for that matter. But if they were to be producing yearly remakes and sequels to these remakes that they want to have done, I can just see that turning out very poorly. 
And now that's not to say that with all the right context that a yearly movie drop couldn't be good. Because if you are actively working on screenplays in between post-production and the release of the film that you have coming out and then just getting the second one and third one maybe geared up and everything's being revised and looked over very carefully and there's a lot of attention to detail when it comes to the writing department because we know the script could make or break a narrative as far as the overall uh, presentation with your movie. If all of that is in place, then we could get a banger after banger after banger. For all my WWE fans, you know I'm referencing Sheamus there. But again, the point still stands. I don't want to end up in a position where if we're getting Jason movie after Jason movie, Freddy movie after Freddy movie, year after year after year, once again, like we're back in the 80s and 90s, that we just end up in another stance of, oh, it's time for them to go away because they suck again. <laughs> I don't want that. They've been away for so long. I want us to see a triumphant return from both of them. We know we already have Peacock's uh, A24's Crystal Lake prequel series coming from Brian Fuller. Sean Cunningham, again, that was, the last time we heard anything about a reboot film was when we got an update from Bloody Disgusting late last year talking about how how there were reboot plans in place and how he had a director and a writer who's going to be collaborating with this on but we haven't heard anything since but apparently if Blumhouse is in the mix the plans would be to produce yearly sequels to whatever remakes come to fruition now of course ideally also I don't think anybody wants another Friday the 13th remake for the most part I would think most fans would want to see a sequel to some sequel that already exists in the Friday the 13th timeline. Whether that be a sequel to Jason Lives, a sequel to Final Chapter, a sequel to Jason Takes Manhattan, a sequel to Jason X even. Although Jason X getting a sequel seems a, seems a lot more challenging than just doing sequels to any of those other entries. You could even do a sequel to that 2009 movie that we got. But I think a lot of people, they're not interested for the most part in getting another Friday the 13th remake. They would prefer to see a sequel to a beloved sequel from the 80s, a part of the original series. Okay, so with Nightmare on Elm Street, Jason Blum has already stated that if he were to even have the rights to do Nightmare on Elm Street, that he would somehow, he thinks he could get Robert England back. So if Blumhouse is doing Nightmare on Elm Street movies, I guess the other concern would be, are we really going to see Robert England back and exploring that exploring the route of having Robert back as Freddy rather than opening the door to just accept that you can have someone else in the makeup. And it all really comes down to the makeup. Because when people talk about that remake, more and more as time passes, what I'm actually starting to realize is that it wasn't so much the actor. The actor, I would argue, isn't doing that bad of a job in that remake. What I'm slowly starting to accept within myself, and I think a lot of other people are accepting this too, it came down to that horrendous makeup job for the actor who is portraying Freddy. That's just my two cents. I would not want to see Robert England back in a role where you're just continuing to ignore the fact that he is getting older. Yes, he does not have to do the stunts, but there are plenty of other people out there that can don the makeup. Just give us good makeup and we can have anybody play Freddy. Sure, they might not be as good as Robert. We can accept that, but I would rather see someone else in the makeup rather than seeing Robert being brought back over and over and over again just because that's what jason blum would want to do but you guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews i'm going to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video